Now I want to say a few words just in my, uh, on my sole behalf. Uh, yesterday I had the opportunity to speak with Joy, who is a survivor from the DPRK. After the regime took her father's farm away, her family was desperately poor. They had to boil grass and still unripe corn from their neighbors so they wouldn't starve. She had, in her words, no dreams. She just wanted to survive. To avoid being married off as a teenager by her stepmother, Joy escaped the DPRK only to be sold into sexual slavery in China because she was not recognized as a refugee. She then escaped again to South Korea but had to leave her only child behind. Her harrowing story brought tears to my eyes and I, I was so moved by her strength, her courage, her perseverance, but more importantly, her leadership. She reminded me that we need to recognize the human toll of the DPRK's totalitarian regime because, because while it's hard to imagine, Joy considers herself one of the lucky ones. Thank you. Madam Ambassador, any reaction to Iran announcing it would put cameras back in its uh, nuclear facility? 